I'm going to show you how to set up the Roxent Pro video stabilizer. I'll be attaching a Canon point and shoot camera, but this tutorial will also apply if you plan on attaching a GoPro or a larger DSLR. Getting a stabilizer set up the first time always takes a little time and patience because every camera is different. Just as a reference point to start, this is how your stabilizer should function when it's properly balanced. Now let's take this step by step in the order that I like to do it. The first thing you want to do is remove the strap, put in the batteries, and attach the lens or any extra accessory you plan on using on your camera, like your microphone. Any added weight later on can completely throw the balance off the stabilizer. Even the weight of a lens cap can completely throw off your balance. Next, attach your camera to the top of the stabilizer. You want to use one of the three horizontal slots so you can fine tune it later on. Start with the middle position. Don't attach the handle yet, we're going to use that to find the center of balance. Now move the handle between each position until you find the center. You don't even have to screw it all the way in, just test each handle position until you find the one that's the closest to balanced. You can use a penny to unscrew the metal screw if you need to move it to a new position. If you've tried every handle position and the camera still tilts too far forward or backwards, move the camera on top to one of the other two positions and start again. Now that we have a pretty close center of gravity, screw in the handle. It doesn't have to be perfectly balanced yet, we're going to fine tune it later. Now we're going to adjust the counterweights on the bottom of the camera. This is the part that most people who use a stabilizer screw up. Basically, you want the camera on top to weigh only a little bit more than the arm on the bottom. This way, the camera will slowly right itself when it's turned on its side in a very fluid motion. For a point-and-shoot camera like this one, start with just one weight and extend the arm all the way. For a DSLR, you'll probably need two weights. Starting fully extended, now just reduce the length of the arm until you achieve a nice balance. Lastly, we want to fine tune the position of the camera on the top until we get a perfect balance. Move the camera making very slight tweaks. If the camera tilts slightly forward, move it slightly backwards. If it tilts slightly to the left, move it slightly to the right. If you need to move the camera out of one of the three groups to move it either forward or backwards, you can make very slight tweaks to the position of the arm to achieve a level horizontal balance. However, I recommend keeping the camera in one of the three grooves just to keep it simple. When perfectly level, your camera should function similarly to this. The technique in this video should work to balance most cameras. I've personally used a Roxent Pro stabilizer for my DSLR, my GoPro, and my point-and-shoot camera. If you follow these steps carefully and you still can't achieve a perfect balance, you may want to fine-tune the weight of your camera using a few small washers. I'll explain this technique in another video. Now get it there and start shooting.